So raise your hand if more than 50% of your personal real estate business is commercial or investment real estate. Okay. Now keep your hand up if more than 90% of your personal real estate business is commercial or investment real estate. Now everyone take a look around. These are the agents and brokers who've made the leap to full-time commercial investment real estate. And they didn't do it because they want to work during normal business hours or because they want bigger commission checks or because they enjoy hobnobbing with professional business people. No, they became full-time commercial realtors and brokers because they like using terms like discounted cash flow analysis and internal rate of return because it makes them look smart. And that brings us to my most important information today. Yes, the top five reasons that residential realtors do not sell commercial real estate. Can I get a drum roll, please? Okay, number five. Residential realtors really enjoy working every other night and every single weekend with home buyers who can't make up their minds. Number four reason that residential realtors do not sell commercial real estate, they love doing open houses on Sundays. Number three, they would much rather sell that condo down the street for 37.5 than that office building for 800,000. It makes them feel more complete inside. Number two, they believe that the math of commercial real estate is more complicated than calculating their 70% commission split with a 20% referral fee with an 8% franchise fee on that condo down the street for 37.5. And the number one reason that residential realtors do not sell commercial real estate is that they're intimidated because commercial brokers keep using terms like discounted cash flow analysis and the internal rate of return. Hi, I'm Lauren Keim with the Goodman Center for Real Estate Studies at Lehigh University and with Real Estate's Next Level Education. And I'm the host of the Fundamentals of Commercial Real Estate video training series, the best commercial real estate education series available today. Certainly you've heard the term cap rate, gross rent multiplier, cash on cash return, or return on investment. But what do they really mean? And how does a professional commercial realtor determine what a property is worth? In the third video in our series titled Commercial Real Estate Valuation and Financial Analysis, we're going to explore what the components of value are in a commercial investment, how to determine the various returns a buyer might receive on their investment, and how to build a financial model and project that model out over 10 years. And we're going to do it in an easy to understand format and maybe with a little humor. If you're a residential agent and you can calculate the down payment, closing costs, and monthly payment of an FHA loan, you can do commercial financial analysis. You just have to learn the terms, the techniques, and maybe a little bit of math. So order a copy today of our program, An Introduction to Commercial Real Estate Valuation and Financial Analysis.